sounds unfortunate, but it's true. Our forefathers belonged to these secret societies. Now some people have come to me and said, Bill, you claim the Constitution is so great, how can you do that and then say that our forefathers are members of this secret society that's trying to destroy this country and bring about the New World Order? They think there's a dichotomy there, and there's not. Because this was the grand experiment. It was also the antithesis to the monarchs, the kings and queens of Europe, whom they had sworn to topple from their thrones. How do you topple a king from the throne? You give the people, the subjects, a taste of freedom. Go ahead, sir. Just walk around the camera. If you will. All through history, let me give you a little background. All through history, man had claimed that he didn't need to be ruled by kings and queens, and that he wasn't property and he didn't want to be property. Because up until the time this country was founded, no people in this whole world had ever been free, and had always been the property of the ruler, the king the king, the queen, the emperor, whatever they call themselves. Man was a property just like a cow, a cow was. What made somebody free, what made them capable of ruling, was genetics. Your line of genetic descent or ancestry determined whether you were going to be property or you were going to be a king. And nothing else determined that. Our forefathers, in their efforts to bring about their dream of a perfect world where they would not be oppressed by kings or queens, or by popes or religions, or by the mob, in their quest for that, they created this nation as the antithesis to the kings and queens and emperors and empresses of the old world. And they knew that if they gave the common man a taste of freedom, that the kings and queens and emperors would topple off their thrones like dominoes in a row across the floor. And that's exactly what happened. Not long after this country was established, the French Revolution took place by the same groups. The same secret societies caused the French Revolution, caused the revolution in this country. All of our forefathers belonged to the Freemasons. They were all also Knights Templars. They were also members of the Illuminati. They were not bad men. The people who are bringing about the New World Order today do not believe themselves to be bad men. They believe it must be done in the best interest of mankind. And they believe that the end justifies the means so that if they have to kill two billion people to realize the dream, there will finally be a thousand years of peace. But their logic is convoluted, and they're tripping over their own philosophy in many places, as you will find out when you begin to seriously study this. If you do, and I hope that you do. They founded this country, and they gave us the most perfect document for ruling a country that has ever been written in the history of the world, the Constitution of the United States and the Bill of Rights. It did not give us freedoms. It restricted the government. It made us sovereign kings in our own right, and for the first time in the history of the world, made the government the chattel slave of the people. It reversed, turned the tables on everything that had gone before. They built into the Constitution and the Bill of Rights every tool that we would ever need to keep our freedom and stay free. They also built into the Constitution two things that would ensure our downfall should we prove unworthy of ruling ourselves. And it was the great experiment. Can man rule himself or must he have a king? And those two things they built into the Constitution was the creation of a foreign country within this country called the federal government residing in the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C.